Okay guys, welcome back once again to the channel. Happy 2022 to all you guys. I figured I'd get that off my chest real quick before we move into this. Hope you guys had a safe and happy new year. In this video, we're gonna go back into, this is coming back in out of the shit pit. I've been wanting to talk about it again, uh, revisit it, because uh, there are a couple things on the guitar that I didn't go over in my initial video. If you guys have not seen review first impressions of this guitar when I first got it, Go ahead and check that video out before you look at this one and come back and watch this video. But without further ado, let's jump into this guitar, shall we? new things I will go over everything once again just to give this video an update a fresh coat of paint on it so you guys can see what the hell I'm talking about with how many QC issues are on this guitar now granted not every guitar coming out of uh, Jackson from Indonesia China wherever else they're making all these guitars now not all of them are bad seeds but this one right here is a hot mess so I want to go over everything with you guys but first of all um, some of the things that are new that that I did not discover in the video uh, the first video that I did on this guitar is and I've never really had many problems with tuners <laughs> this motherfucker right here oh my god like ridiculous let me show you guys let me grab a pick real quick so when you turn these things they just they start to really really resist Especially like all these ones right here. You'll hear it in a second. That was my knuckle. Yeah, that right there. It's like you'll turn, turn, it'll get tight, tight, tight. It'll click and then it'll start spinning again. And they're all pretty much like that. They're just really, they really cheap down on the tuning pegs. And I don't think there's any excuse for when you're paying $1,400 for a uh, for a guitar that they should be cheaping out on stuff like that. It's just unacceptable. So I'm kind of in the process of uh, uh, still experimenting with strings, finding something I like. Right now I got some string joys on these. These are not a joy to play. I do not like these strings. I'm finding that there's only one string company for me and that's Diodario. Everything that I've tried, I just, I can't stand. I hate them, I dislike them. I've tried just about every string company and I just, I just, I find something about them I don't like. They're all just like tone dead to me, but these strings I gave a try and I don't like these either. So, um, I mean, I'm in the process of trying to find something that I like, but uh, as far as right now, since this thing is not, oh my God, is this something new on this guitar? Yeah, that might be, <laughs> that might be one of the issues. I'm, I, I'm just now seeing this guys. That nut isn't even all the way down on that. F Let me grab the camera. I'll show you guys. I'm just now noticing. I got some other ugly shit I want to show you guys on this guitar that you guys didn't see before. But let me show you this. Okay, so we're going to just focus right here. I can touch screen this shit. And we can focus right in on that sucker. Can you guys see that right there? Let me see if I can do it again. Please, pretty please, Sony, would you? No, you won't do it for me, will you? All right, how about right here? That doesn't want to work anymore. I love this camera, but I fucking hate it at the same time. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is definitely a funky gap right there, and it's not seated all the way down. Yeah, I, I just now noticed this as I was looking at the guitar talking to you guys. Cause it's like I'm always finding something on this guitar each time I pick it up. Yeah, that's God. These things, like I said before, I even before I even got to this part, I told you guys this guitar is a hot mess, and I ain't even bullshitting about that. So this was another thing I wanted to show you guys, because um, I had the truss rod cover over this. Look at how much of a just abomination that is inside there. Look how disgusting that is. Look how ugly. I mean, just like you—you you really left. You look. Yeah, you really let it leave the factory like that. You couldn't do just—I don't know—spend a couple minutes and do just a little bit better job of cleaning that up in there. 
seriously we're talking a guitar these are going for $13.99 now pro series yeah pro series my ass and this is the number one thing I always look for every time I pick up a guitar is the fret ends this is the first thing I go to and this guy right here the razor's edge on every single fret they get worse as you get closer to right here where it joins the bar the body but can you guys hear that every goddamn fret every one of these ouch 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 ow fuck fuck ow 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 all the way down ridiculous now granted i haven't had time to take this to my guitar guy and him because i don't want to mess with this kind of stuff myself i got a i got a guy who does all this stuff for me but just with my time and how much i enjoy all my other stuff that i have i just haven't gotten around to this instrument yet doing what i want to do on it um so this has not been taken care of yet but it definitely needs to i mean uh if you guys go back i'm sure i'll probably regurgitate everything that i said in that previous video when I, before I got this guitar, the only reason I got this guitar is when I found it, there happened to be like four hours left on eBay or something when the seller was selling this guitar. It did have just a little bit of cause damage right there, which I was willing to definitely let by because this was, I mean, for a lot of years that went by, nothing really caught my interest from, you know, any of the uh, guitar manufacturers that I typically go for. Now I used to be, I mean, this is regurgitated information from that video too. I used to be just, the biggest Jackson fanboy. Now, uh, for me, I grew up, uh, you know, in the early, through the early mid 90s. That's when I first started learning to play guitar because I'm a little bit older. I'm almost 40 years old. So I grew up in a phenomenal era, uh, era when these guitars, like the, uh, the Japanese guitars, uh, Jackson models, you were able to go into a guitar center and they had them all there uh, ready for you to play. So I got to play a lot of phenomenal guitars. That's when Jackson was definitely. You know at its prime and uh once fender took over around 2002 it was just it was lights out these guitars were never the same ever since but they still have a great look to them you know and not all these are complete pieces of shit but um i've had nothing but bad luck ever since um you know fender took over and i tried a handful of uh, jacksons once they took over and every single guitar had problems and it was like when i got this one the only reason i jumped at it was just how cheap I was about to get it for and uh, you know able to try this guitar at a at a very affordable price because there was no way I was because at the time these were $12.99 last year I believe when they first came out when uh, you had to pre-order them and stuff and like man for a guitar that will probably have QC issues I wouldn't even I wouldn't even waste my money on that um, especially if Jackson's not willing to uh, you know clean their act up as far as uh, the QC goes because there's still people I mean I get messages all the time and I, I read message boards and I see just other people's complaints they're still they're still putting out bad guitars I mean but like my effort making the video that I made and other people addressing these problems with these guitars we're just trying to get a better product out there to the consumer the person who you know uh, has their hard-earned money that they're putting down on a guitar that they really are interested in buying and you know want to see that you get a better product and we hope that when we make these videos and we address these issues and show these problems to the world that hopefully these things get resolved and people start getting better instruments and they start paying more attention to uh, you know these guitars and spend a little bit extra time I would think to um, make them right before they ship them out the door and get them in the hands of people but it's still happening. Things are still, uh, you know, slipping through the cracks, and it's just, it's just wrong. It's just dead wrong. But um, yeah, so I was able to get this thing for a fraction of the price of what it cost brand new. So that was my chance to uh, see what it was all about. And I knew before, <laughs> like when I won the auction, I knew that I was going to have problems with it. I'm like, I guarantee this thing is going to have QC issues. I just knew it going in. But I was willing to, uh, you know, take the risk and. Um, like, fuck it, you know, if, uh, if that happens, I got a, I got a, you know, informative video to share with everybody, which I did. I mean, there were, but there was a lot more going on in this guitar than I ever imagined, just with how much shit was, you know, overlooked at the factory that should have been just 
finished, took the extra couple minutes and just finished it through before it, it headed out the door. But that wasn't the case. I mean, they missed a lot of shit on this guitar. I mean, this this right here is just kind of an eyesore, but it's not like a a major problem. But this is uh, this was a part of the video too. It is right here. Look at the finished sanding right here. That wasn't too big of a concern because it's just behind the guitar, you know, like you're not really looking at it all the time, but still shouldn't have left the factory like that. And then right up in here, this wasn't properly rounded off, you know, with whatever they were using to uh, make that right, which they didn't. This looked like a, this was busted off and it was just re-glued in there. I know I showed that in the video too. This right here, you can actually get your finger on it. No, I was, yeah, right there. But yeah, I think that was just busted off and just glued right back on. They said, fuck it, ship it anyway. And this right here, that wasn't in the video, but I just showed you guys that idea of fuck it, just let it go anyway. Unacceptable, that's disgusting. They took absolutely no uh, no time or care whatsoever to clean any of this stuff up in here. I mean, I get it that, you know, in these areas, it's probably a little bit hard to get into, but just a little bit of, I don't know, just take a little bit of fucking sandpaper and just a couple minutes and just clean this shit up inside here, inside these, these points here. I uh, just didn't want to do that. The routing work, I mean, not the best. You can kind of see where it's a little bit jaggedy. It looks a lot worse in person than it does on this camera. But I mean, it's not very clean, not very cleanly done on this guitar. And like I said, the fret work is just atrocious on this thing. But what really saved this guitar for me was uh, the way it sounded. I mean, it doesn't sound good with the strings that I have on it right now. In standard tuning, I think it had like 10 to 59 strings on it. That's what I ended up buying again. I'm gonna put those back on here and uh, probably just rock it in standard tuning. I might actually try to tune it down a little bit from there to see what I can get away with. Every guitar is different, but these strings sound very muddy on this guitar and I've only got it down a whole step. I got it down to drop A and it just, it sounds very, very muddy. Very muddy waters, disgusting. Muddy McMudson, so it's too much for me, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cut these strings off and say, you know, never gonna buy String Joys again. Only gonna buy Diodario. That's my favorite guitar string. So uh, other than that, I mean, as far as everything being lined up properly, you know, no con no complaints there. But all the other stuff, it's just it's unacceptable work, you know. For how much these guitars go for and it's a shame that you know not only myself but uh, a lot of you guys out there are still getting bad guitars from jackson they're just they're just they've never been the same ever since and i see you know when i go on instagram or i go on uh, some of the some of the other pages you know people have the same have the same issues and it's talked about i mean you can't hide you can't hide from the internet when uh when it comes to this kind of information because it, if any of this stuff didn't exist people wouldn't be talking about it and people should be talking about it. they should be very pissed off because of the you know amount of money of these guitars i mean i've i haven't even seen this many quality control issues even on like a two three hundred dollar guitar like a js series even and uh yeah those those guitars are something else too but i mean those are like the the squires of uh, of Jackson or some of the other some of the other brands, but yeah, I mean, like this is a new thing here with that that nut I just showed you guys. It just no, oh, it's no good. That's something else I got to deal with. But yeah, I mean, what reeled me in was I really like this finish. This uh, winter storm color is really really nice.
This is either an original Floyd or a 1000 series. I think it's a 1000 series. I can't quite remember uh, what the specs were on this, but I mean, overall spec out, you know, it's it's a good instrument, but it just, it's a hot mess when it gets to your doorstep, clearly. And uh, it's just unfortunate because this thing does sound really good when it's got the right strings on it and yeah. I mean, yeah, when I was when I first got it and I was playing it, it was it was a hell of a guitar. It sounded great, man. I, I was playing it all the time. And um, now that I got a couple things added since I had this, I've had this guitar for a little over a year, and uh, yeah, I, I've uh, been playing on other stuff. But yeah, once it came time to start experimenting with string gauges and different brands, just trying to find what I like on this guitar, um, just kind of hung it up because I didn't like what I was hearing on it anymore because I wanted to take it down to drop A which is where it's at now but it's just it's not doing anything for me the string joy I have I have string joys on uh, my eight string guitar too and that guitar just sits around too I just I don't like those strings Diodario all the way that's my shit and that is not a paid statement whatsoever that's just what I like I just I uh, I tell you guys what I like and I don't get luckily I don't have any uh, endorsements or anything because I can just say whatever the hell I want if it's shitty I can tell you guys if it's good I can tell you guys that too there's no pressure but yeah I just figured I'd revisit this guitar and um, yeah just go over everything with you guys on this thing again and let you know uh, some of the other things that I didn't cover in that video and then obviously the new thing with the nut which really sucks the tuning pegs those are atrocious you know they gotta they gotta step their game up on the tuning pegs for sure they got to step. They really got to step their game up on pretty much front to back, top to bottom, left to right on all their guitars before they leave the factory. That's the bottom line, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up on this video right now, and um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll leave you guys with the metal horns. Stay safe out there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.